G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Now this is a review for the Adult Collector. This is a ZD Toys Iron Man Mark 85 or the Iron Man that we all see in Endgame. And there's the stand to show that. Now ZD Toys, from what I've been informed from people who've been watching the channel uh, when I did the review on Cap America, I was ill-informed myself and believed it would be a knockoff, but it's not a knockoff. ZD Toys is a company that got licensing in, I believe, China or in Asia to market the figures. And so they're not knockoffs, they are actually rigid edge with the Marvel company, I believe. Um, but they have done a terrific job creating this figure. Now the other great thing about this figure is not only does he stand great with Cap, but he also stands great with your other Marvel Select figures. So a little bit taller for a Marvel Legends collector, but if you're a Marvel Select fan, then you're going to love this, especially for the price point uh, for what you get. So it cost me about $30 with free shopping on AliExpress and came with all these wonderful accessories, which I'll go through in a minute. But anyway, let's start with the figure. As I said, we'll start the head and work our way down. If I can get him to focus. So terrific level of detail all the way through. The great thing I know about this or noticed about this on mine is there's no paint chipping. Uh, usually when you get this sort of level of metallic sort of paint used on Iron Man, you uh, you see little chips appear here, there and everywhere, but um, nothing so far. And even as I said, the level of detail they've gone into this figure, you can see there, he's just got the little pieces there, that's the lighting coming through and the effect, even into the hand, you've got it down there. They had painted it onto the feet, but obviously decided to give him the grey rather than lighting them up but you've got nice hinges in there these allow you to lift up so you can get the arms up very very poseable um, so I can't really show too many poses because I've just got him I'm holding one hand and one hand on the camera but he can get into great poses uh, and as I said the accessories are fantastic so you'll notice on the back there we've got three little peg holes now you've got a couple of options there one is you can actually just seal him up with this accessory piece just to give him that clean look get that to focus for you it's in my hand so that just slots in to the uh, the three pegs or if you're trying to reenact that scene when they first are tackling Thanos you can place this bad boy onto his back and then reenact the, the part where he encourages Thor to power him up and hit him with his blasters ionic blasters or whatever so you got the three pegs there and uh, as I said, if I spin him over, and it really does in, go in quite nicely, and also look rather seamless. Oops, sorry, a little bit hard to do with the one hand, but we'll get there. As you can see there, it just slots in. Try and get that in there for you. See what I'm doing? There we go. So you can see there, just from the back, the way it fits on. It looks like it's attached to the figure and it came like that naturally so it doesn't look like it's been just thrown on the back and then from the front you can see there he's ready to blast away now the other great thing with this figure is you can see that there are additional hands now one of the things you always find with your figures is you want to try and have it so he's about to blast you with the um, the beam out of his hand well with these ones you actually can use these interchangeable hands which allow you on the peg to have it standing up like that or for facing forward uh, whereas previously like if I was trying to do it with this hand the you can pull it forward but you can't go any higher back so it's great to have a spare pair of hands where you can actually just pop it off and then you can have him doing his blast at you. You've also come with a pair of fists, like what's an action figure without some fists? But the other great thing that came with this figure is these two sort of ionic cannons which again just slot on nicely so you just got little peg holes if you can see them in there and you just pop them on and it's fantastic. So you can literally, if you wanted to, have him all gunned up ready to blast away. So anyway just thought I'd share that. It really was a bit of a Oh, well, let's just see how we go. But because I was so impressed with, with Cap, and I've done a review on him, as well as the ZD Toy Thanos, so if you haven't seen that one, feel free to check that one out. But for the adult collector who probably likes to just put things on the shelf and relive the uh, the scenes out of the movie, this is a, a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic figure. 
um, well worth picking up and as I said even the stand is quite sturdy well branded and you can even have Iron Man in flight so anyway just thought I'd share that because you know I love doing this channel for adult collectors and making people aware of what's out there and if they're looking to spend their money so stay tuned if you haven't already checked out um, this review this is the Luke Skywalker Black Series helmet from the fantastic bulletproof villain.com.au i'll say that again bulletproof villain.com.au fantastic online store here in australia to uh, to pick up stuff for the adult collectors and if there's anything else in the room here that anybody else would like to see a review on that you can't find on the channel let me know and i'll do my best to uh, do a review for you but anyway until next time uh thanks for the likes thanks for hitting the subscription thanks for hitting the notification bell all that fun stuff and cheers